I'm Dr. Michelle Perro, Executive Director of GMOScience.org, and we'd like to begin today with one topic that I think will appeal to many audiences, baby food. Is baby food good for babies? So what happened? I scanned the literature and I see a report from Consumers Report about arsenic and baby food. And as, as a pediatrician, is this something I should be worried about? 105 foods tested, and lo and behold, arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury. Not the foods for healthy babies' brains. So I thought, well, certainly, FDA is gonna do something about that, right? Oh, 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 not so fast. No recommendations made by the FDA, and cereal companies did reduce the arsenic, but wasn't enough. Here's the thing about kids, they eat three times more food per pound of weight than adults. And toxic metalloids like arsenic are a greater risk for kids. So if you look, you science geeks out there, look at this, it's the periodic table. I love this stuff, there's arsenic, that's what it looks like. Why are we worried about this? Well, ho, accumulates in the brain, where? The pituitary, hormone center folks, not good and lowers IQ. Those kids will need more help getting bought, I mean entering college, than what they had before, and they can induce mood disorders, learning deficits, problematic. Why? Why all the arsenic and baby food, particularly rice foods? Well, in fields where rice were grown, especially in the southeast of the U.S., what did they use prior? arsenic-based pesticides, and it was also found contaminating in fertilizer that we feed birds. Birds, bees, babies, folks, come on. Remember GMO science? We are science-based. So out of toxicology reports, meet Dr. Gilles-Eric Cervellini. This is not the journal of Juju Medicine. Most of you who know me know that's one of my other favorite journals. No, this is real science. And he looked at toxic contaminants in glyphosate-based herbicides, and he found heavy metals like arsenic, like lead, like nickel, like chromium, that, and this makes these uh, chemical um, pesticides, particularly herbicides, more toxic. And where do they come from? Manufacturing processes. They can be put in intentionally as nanoparticles and from the groundwater. So, whoa, don't freak out, folks. Here's a list of sample baby foods, organic and non-organic. You've heard me speak, people. I say eat organic. It's in the organic baby food too. Brown rice worse than white rice. So, is there an app for that? Put your iPhones away. There's no app for this, people. I know you need a PhD to go to Safeway. No, this is not a plug for Safeway, but yes, this is what it takes. What do we do? Free range meats, grass fed, grass finished. A variety of veggies, legumes, grains that we normally don't eat in America, such as buckwheat, millet, gluten-free oats, sorghum, teff, quinoa, which is kind of a pseudo cereal, and organic, here we go. We are a team from GMO Science, Ginger Souders Mason, Ja Theory, I'm Michelle Perro, and thanks for joining us.